Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to make a turret program or a turret game more like. So here's an example of a turret game that I've just made. So this is a character. It's an eight directions character and you can move up, down, left and right. And uh, these blue things you see here are the turrets. Now turrets are basically guns and they can aim and they can fire bullets at targets. So in this case the target is me, the character that is eight directions. So notice when I move the turret will aim at me and it will keep aiming at me and once it aims at me it will fire the bullet to try to kill me. And uh, when I get killed my character disappears so that signifies that my character is dead. So notice the movement as shown. There we go. Now the actual program for that is here. So this is what the program looks like. So I've got a character, I've got uh, some turrets, and I have a bullet. So there are three objects I have to draw. This, this, and this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new program from scratch. So let's load up Construct2. So we've got this. So we're going to start a brand new program. So first thing we do is uh, do a new project or go to File, New, New Empty Project. So once you're in this, you're going to create three objects. The first one is a turret. So you're going to use a sprite. So anything that, you, uh, that requires drawing, you need to use a sprite to do so. Now for this turret, I'm going to use a triangle because it's easier to draw. Now to do that, I'm going to use a line. And the rule about the turret is that the turret must be facing in the right direction. So this triangle is going to be facing right. So the bullets will be coming out of the right point. Now let's get some paint. There's our triangle. Now don't forget you've got all this space here that you want to cut. So use the crop tool crop transparent edges and just cut the space. Furthermore, use the collision polygon to cut the uh, space here. And there we go. And um, you want to set the origin and image point to be in the middle. Because when that turret uh, starts rotating, it needs to rotate on this point here. Because if you put it here, you put it here, it will look funny when it tries to shoot at people or aim at people. So that's that. So try to put it in the middle. Once that's done, you have a turret. If you think it's too big, just make it smaller. Now let's make a character. So in this example, I'm just going to use a square. Just keep it very simple. You know, if you want to add more, please uh, be my guest. I'm just using this as an example. So you draw like this. There we go. Don't forget to cut the space. So there's the character. Let's make it smaller. Now, let's, now for the bullet, very simple. Just uh, do a really small square or a circle. There we go. All right, so we've got a turret, a character, and a bullet. Now, remember, for the, excuse me, for the character, we're going to add uh, some behaviors. We're gonna add one behavior more like. So we press this one. Now, because we want to move this with our keyboard, we're going to use eight direction. And for the turret, we're going to use it's actually quite simple. We're going to use a, a behavior called turret. So turret is turret. And similarly with the bullet, the bullet is bullet. So you'll see why in a moment. So once I run the program, when I run the program, you'll notice that the bullet flies to the right and the character will actually move. All right, so if I just reload that, so the bullet flies to the right, and the uh, character will move. 
you'll notice that the turret doesn't move because we need to tell the program that the turret has to aim at this uh, character. So the character has to be a target. The turret doesn't know what to aim at. So we have to tell Construct2 uh, what, what it needs to aim at. So let's uh, fix that. Because right now it's not moving, so let's fix that. Ah, before uh, we do that, we need to label some of these things. So you'll notice on the bottom right corner it says Sprite, Sprite 2, and Sprite 3. That could be quite confusing when we use the event sheet to do the programming. So I suggest that you rename. So for example, uh, this one will be called Turret, so T-U-R-R-E-T. -R this is a character, so we're just renaming everything. And this will be Bullet. That's much better. Okay, now we're going to go to the event sheet so we can make this turret actually move when the character moves. So to do that, we need to add an event. We need to tell Construct2 when the program starts for the very first time. We want the turret to have this character as a target so it knows what to aim at. So we go to System. On Start of Layout. That means when this layout starts for the very first time, then we go to Add Action. We want this turret, because it doesn't have, it doesn't know which object is the target, we have to add object to target. So we now we need to choose the target, which is going to be the character. And if you've done it correctly, you'll see this. On the start of layout system, the turret will add the character as a target. Now, if you run the program, this is what you get. All right, if I move down, notice how the turret is moving? So it's actually aiming. That's great. Now, you might notice, even though it is aiming, it's not shooting any bullets. The reason why it's not shooting any bullets is because we need to tell the turret what is a bullet. We need to tell the turret what to shoot as a bullet towards the target. So let's do that. So, what we need to do, we need to go to Add Event. Now we're going to say what happens when the turret shoots. So, turret on shoot. So, when the turret shoots, now here we need to specify what it needs to shoot out. So, we go to Add Action. So, the turret now what we're going to do is every time the turret shoots, the turret is going to create a copy of this bullet every time it shoots. And the way we do that is we spawn another object. So every time the turret shoots, it will spawn the bullet every time. So spawn means like make a copy. So spawn another object and choose the object that you want to spawn, which is the bullet and click done. So if you've done it right, it will say, when the turret shoots, you spawn the bullet from the turret. Now, just give that a try and see if it works. There we go. Now, the turret is shooting the bullet. Great, okay. Now that's good. I guess the only problem now is that when the bullet hits me, when the bullet hits me, notice it doesn't do anything. It just goes past me, like that. So we need to, uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to say what happens, what happens when the bullet hits the target, or in this case, when the bullet hits the character. We haven't told it to do anything. That's why it's, nothing's happening. So um, we need to say what happens when this bullet collides or hits the character. So let's say character. All right, when the character is on collision with another object. So click done. So when the character collides with the bullet, when the character hits the bullet or when the bullet hits the character, very simple, we want the character to die or to destroy, to get destroyed. So it, it will simply just disappear. There we go. Now, 
you should have these three uh, events in your event sheet one or just event sheet now let's give that a try so if I let's just get let's get hit by the bullet there we go it's done and now the uh, turret will stop shooting because the character or the target is no longer in range that's great now just like with the other programs that we've made uh, we want to make copies of the turret and put just put them around the game to make it more interesting uh, I want to make it a little bit smaller actually now something you you might want to do as well is um, when you run the game for the first time you'll notice that you've got this bullet that just flies off and it looks a bit funny so can I suggest that you put this bullet up here so you don't see it now let's put the character here and let's copy this turret so we're going to use control C and control V control V control V control V control V control V like that so just place the turrets around the game the copies now let's run there we go now let's let's give it a try there we go whoa check it out let's give it another try yeah whoa <laughs> that's good and that's pretty much it so well give that a try and see how you go and that is the turret program and don't forget to save right that is the turret program so thank you very much for watching and see you soon